What's going on YouTube? Gio Snorik here. Today we're discussing an iOS downgrade tool that you should definitely not miss. It's called the Tardis Merola, and this one allows you to downgrade to any iOS version, either untethered or tethered. I'm gonna get into it. I made a video about this before. A few updates have been released since that video, and I would definitely like to reiterate this tool because many of you probably missed it. Anyway, so this tool allows you to downgrade your devices based on the Checkmate exploit, and of course it supports only the Checkmate compatible devices and not all of them. This works on the A9 to A10X devices, as you can see over here. But the difference between this and Future Restore is that Future Restore requires a compatible SEP, it requires a lot of things, and you need to have SHSH blobs and whatever. This one doesn't require SHSH blobs. You can downgrade tethered, which means you need to use the computer to boot. However, you can downgrade to any version supported by that device. And also, it doesn't require a compatible SEP, which means that this uses exploits in the background, allowing you to downgrade to even more iOS versions than you would with Future Restore, which would lock you to whatever SEP is compatible. Now, back in April, there was an update which apparently fixes, it mitigates a bug where the signature check patch was not applied correctly on the A9X devices. Now, this is available for iOS and macOS, and since this is based on the Checkmate exploit, this is never going to come to newer devices like the iPhone 14, 13, 12, whatever. This only works on the devices that have been stated over here. So they say A10X and A9. That would be the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, the iPad 6 generation. Those devices, however, can downgrade to any version they ever supported. So say your device right now has iOS 18.5 signed, and this is the only version Apple allows you to go to. You can see here on my website, iDeviceCentral.com, if you go to iOS signing status, this is the signing status for my device at the moment. I cannot go to iOS 18.4.1 or 0.4 or whatever because they are not signed. However, if my device is compatible with Tardis Merola, it's one of the 8, 9 through 8, 10x devices and it's compatible with this, then I would be able to go to any version supported by the device. And that means all the way down to 16.0. No questions asked. Not even SHSH blobs saved prior to this. However, if you don't have the blobs, the downgrade will actually be tethered. You will need a computer to boot. If you do have the blobs, the downgrade will be completely untethered which means after you downgrade, you're running iOS 16.0, for example, and you don't need a computer to boot it, you don't need a computer at all for anything. And you can jailbreak your device on a lower version that is compatible. So this is actually a massively important tool in the community. It kind of flew under the radar for some of you on the community over here on my YouTube channel, because I only made one video about it once it was released and then didn't cover it after that. However, you should know it is available, it was updated, it supports those devices. And if you're lucky enough to have an A9 through A10 next device, then you should definitely go ahead and try to use this, especially if you want to go to an older iOS version. There are people who manage to go ahead and downgrade to iOS 9 and 10 and stuff, you know, re-experience uh, jailbreaks like Pengu and stuff like that. So it's a nice tool. It works even if you don't have the blobs, even if it's a little bit more limited, and it does work fine since it's based on the Checkmate exploit. Speaking of tools, don't forget to also check out iDevice Toolkit, my own application, which allows you to tweak your device on iOS 16.0 up to iOS 18.3.2 for the tweaks, and it also has a file manager and tweak injection in IPAs for iOS 18.5 and lower. So go ahead and check it out in the link below. It's available for all devices. This one supports even the iPhone 12, 13, 14. 14, whatever, and it's going to be down below. And this video is brought to you by Tenorshare Rayboot, a software that allows you to easily fix your device if it's stuck in recovery mode, DFU mode, and so on, Apple logo, and, you know, updating, stuff like that. You can fix it right away, and you can also exit and enter recovery mode and safely erase the device. Check the program out in the link below. Thank you for watching. I am GSNow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated, and peace out.